Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Today we're making flapjacks. You might know them as fried cornbread, journey cakes, johnny cakes, hoe cakes. Either way, that's what we're doing today. My mama called them flapjacks, so that's kind of what I'm used to. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the kitchen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients. So I, I'm using all-purpose cornmeal. I've got a cup. All-purpose flour, a cup also. You can use three to four teaspoons of baking powder. I have three teaspoons today, and I have a half teaspoon of salt. You can bump the salt up to three fourths of a teaspoon if you want to. And then my sugar. So you can use anywhere from one to three tablespoons of sugar, just depending on how sweet you want them to be. I tend to like mine on the sweet side. Um, and so I'm going with four tablespoons, which is the same as a fourth of a cup. If you're gonna make these like uh, cornmeal pancakes, you know, if you're gonna serve them with syrup over them, then you're gonna want to probably go towards the sweeter end of things. If you're planning on serving them with like beans, you're gonna serve them with greens or a, you know, a country type meal, you may want to, you know, not make them as sweet, but it's really kind of up to you guys. So I'm mixing these dry ingredients. I usually kind of blend them really well right in the center. Okay. Now I have a cup of milk. You could also use buttermilk. Just basically want your uh, dry ingredients to get mixed in. You don't have to overbeat this. The next thing you'll want to do is have your uh, skillet get hot with a bit of oil. I want to add in three tablespoons of oil. Some people put four. I use three. Mix that in. We're gonna go check out our skillet. So I've got the bottom of my pan covered with some oil here, and I'm letting it get hot. I've got it on about medium, medium high heat, something like that. Um, and as soon as it gets pretty warm, we'll get started. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the skillet is beginning to shimmer a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This mixing bowl is perfect because it's got a little handle right here. Makes it kind of nice. And you can make these the size that you like. You can make them small. Like so. Let's see if they're getting brown. Lovely. I think I need some practice on flipping. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some more oil. So you're just going to want to add some oil when you feel like you need to. I like to keep the bottom of mine coated. 
I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little. If your batter's a little thinner than you want it, you can add like a tablespoon of flour or cornmeal to thicken it up just a bit. It's just kind of up to you. But it usually does okay. I sometimes like to put the lid on them so they can... It's not necessary, but I like to make sure that they're done on the inside and that just gives me peace of mind. But it's not, it's not something that you guys have to do. Sometimes I like to look into the history of foods and stuff and I was reading about these and it says that um, the Native Americans had the first uh, cornmeal cakes and that American pioneers when they came over they modified them you know to kind of suit their own taste and they were called they were calling them journey cakes because they, because of their flatness and everything, they they could travel really well, and so that kind of got modified over the years to Johnny cakes, and some people called them hoe cakes because you could cook them on the, the like this. If this was your hoe, they would cook it on that in the fire. I think flapjacks just came from it being a something that you had to flip over. And I like mine a little on the browner side, but if you don't, then you might not want to cook them as long as I do. To me, it kind of gives them a little extra crisp. It's really good when you, you know, serve it with, um, you know, a little bit of syrup or something. You can serve them with syrup or honey, and I also like to just serve them with let me turn that down some more. It's still smoking. I usually like my pan to be pretty hot. But if your pan goes to smoking like mine was there, you might want to turn it down a little bit. Looks pretty good there. That's all there is to it. Now my favorite part. I'm going to try one of these ones that I burnt just a little bit. Of course, I kind of like them that way, to be honest. I'm gonna put a little bit of honey on mine. Be sure to eat that first part. <laughs> mm. Tonight I'm gonna have it with the pot of black eyed peas. You can serve it as a pancake. You can serve it as a fried cornbread. It goes good with either one. And either way, I mean, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.